Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Bourbon Brothers. My name is Gavin. And my name is Jeff. And today we're jumping back into the craft world today with uh, a product from Kings County Distillery. We're going to be reviewing their bourbon whiskey. Jeff, their bourbon whiskey, it's uh, aged in five gallon oak barrel, so it's pretty small. Yeah, which, uh, you know, a lot of the craft distilleries you'll see, they they will have the smaller barrels where, you know, the standard is, you know, 50, 52 right. or so. The, uh, the big boys, if you will, that's what they typically will use. But, uh, you know, a lot of craft people are experimenting with different size barrels. Right, in addition to the uh, five gallon barrels, it's aged for almost two years and uh, it's bottled at 90 proof. So, um, Jeff, let's talk about the history for Kings County. To well, sure, yes. Kings County, um, they are the oldest New York City distillery operating. Now, that's only since 2010, but. Um, it's the first one since Prohibition in New York City, and so that is certainly something they can claim. Um, they've been out in operations now for about seven years. They started in uh, somebody's house, and they've just you know can you know continued to, to grow from there. They make bourbon, they make a moonshine, uh, they also make a chocolate bourbon. So uh, you know I think something that helps sort of uh, define them is a you know artist. They're definitely very artisan. Right. Um, you know the bottle a uh, concept I like a lot. I love it. And I, I believe it's won some awards for for the bottle cool. design and, and uh, label and so forth. Yeah, really nice here, um, Jeff. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about the color before getting to the nose, shall we? Yeah. Uh, you know, for a two year old, I think this definitely has a, has a nice deep color, which right. you know the five five gallon buckets, the smaller. Uh, you know, helps do that. I'd say it's definitely probably an amber. Yeah, certainly like a deep amber color, nice and dark, uh, especially for two years old. But hey, yeah. um, all right, Jeff. Well, hey, let's uh, let's see yeah, it, shall nice. we? Definitely getting a lot of sweet notes. You know, maple, uh, like graham cracker, like a cinnamon graham cracker. Yeah, maybe. there's a lot of sweetness up front. The sweet corn, just waves of it. Maple, like you said, uh, graham cracker. Yeah, a little caramel too. A little salted caramel there. It's, it's fairly woody. Uh, not very rye heavy on the nose, but that wood is certainly there. Maybe even some tobacco. Yeah, yeah, no, I think, you know, again, not to keep harping on this, but for a two year old, I think, you know, the small, the small uh, barrel helps to give it, you know, a little more, a little more color, a little more oakiness to it. Than you would see from a you know a typical two year old from a fifty two gallon tank. Yeah, I mean it's really sweet and very woody, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this yeah. plays out on the palate. Definitely. All right, well, hey, let's taste. take a taste. Cheers. It's got a nice thick mouthfeel, not light at all. No, it's a good mouthfeel. Um, you know, some of the sweetness, like a molasses sweet, a little bit of caramel, but not nearly as sweet as the nose. No, definitely, definitely not as sweet as the nose. Well, a few baking spices up front. Molasses. That maple is kind of transitioning onto the palate. Still very woody and fairly dry. Yeah, dr fit, dry finish, you know, a little bit of like tobacco, leathery feel almost in the throat. Yeah, very woody. Um, like we said, that Sweet corn from the nose, Jeff, it's kind of transitioning into like a corn bready, yeah. you know, yeah. taste on the palate. Very dry. And in a good way, you know, it's a, certainly a, a change of pace from your normal bourbons. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's definitely, I think, got a, a little bit of a, a, a different, you know, uh, palate, if you will, than say like, you know, a maker's mark or... Sure. You know, your easily accessed, you know, middle of the road bourbon. Yeah, I love the bottle, and I think if the, the, the just the, the whole design of the bottle, and I think the juice inside it really fits with the bottle. Um, it's very kind of old schooly, you know, back in the day. If the, the general's handing me this, you know, in the middle of like the battlefield, this is kind of what I expected <laughs> to taste. Very dry, very woody, no fun and games, just kind of straight to the point. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's a, definitely a good expression. You know, again, with the artists and craft, you know, they able to experiment a little bit more maybe than the big boys. And, uh, you know, I think this is uh, definitely a quality product that, you know, a little, little bit out of the typical, you know, bourbon zone. Yeah, I mean, before we get to uh, our ratings, you know, the finish, it's still, 
It's a fairly medium to long finish. It's dry. It's a few baking spices there. Some tobacco there as well. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I mean, a nice, uh, a nice bourbon whiskey for sure. Definitely. All right, Jeff, what would you, uh, what would your bourbon brother's rating be? My bourbon brother rating for Kings County bourbon will be an 8.4 out of 10. Yeah, that sounds right on the nose there. 8.4, I think that's a great, uh, a great score. Okay, hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Bourbon Brothers. You can check out the links to our blogs and Twitter accounts below. Please like and subscribe to the video. Cheers.